So, it seems like the war criminals want us to stop. Are you ready to stop? No. I want to talk about Saturday because it's important. They arrested 10 of our leaders, and we don't know for certain if this was directed from City Hall. We don't know if Eric Adams himself, who has publicly declared himself an enemy of ours and attacked us publicly, if he's the one who signed the order. We don't know if it was even above Eric Adams. But what we do know is that police, the NYPD, which only serves the interest of the rich and the privileged in this city, who only defend private property and never the lives of the people of this city, did so with the attempt to silence, to quiet, to shut down and stop our march. We are also talking about the fact that what the IDF does every day has its mirror in the daily violence, in the racial profiling, in the apartheid-like policies that the NYPD likes to engage in every day. The message to the NYPD, to Eric Adams, to all those war criminals who continue to be complicit in the crimes of Israel, who continue to sponsor the crimes of Israel, who continue to be ardent supporters of Israeli apartheid and colonialism, this message is for you. We're coming back. We're not stopping. We're not quitting. We're not staying quiet. We're not backing up. But we will need all your support, all your strength, all your power, so that on this Saturday, the 27th, we are there with full force, sending a message that they don't get to determine our freedoms. We don't require them to give us their blessing on what type of protest is a good protest. The people will determine that. And we will show force this coming Saturday.